<laughs> Today, I did a thing. Bam. I went and voted. Now, to a lot of you, you've probably done this a bunch of times. For me, this is very special. It was three and a half years ago, or two and a half years ago, I had the privilege of becoming a United States citizen. Yep, I wasn't a United States citizen up until two and a half years ago. One of the proudest moments of my life, I wish my dad would have seen me hold my hand up and and become a US citizen because it's something he always wanted. Unfortunately, I lost him before that happened. They did give me a flag and then I, I went and took it to his gravesite and put it at his gravesite. I know that he wasn't physically here, but I know that he was watching me from the sky. My dad decided to, to come to the United States about 44 years ago. He was running away from a war-torn country. We were going through a civil war in El Salvador at the time. And he needed to get his him and his family out of there. He came 44 years ago, worked his butt off, made enough money to get us brought over to the United States. Those kids that you see with their moms crossing the border right now, that was us 43 years ago. My dad loved this country. He loved El Salvador, he loved it to death. He would bleed El Salvador, but he also would bleed the United States of America. So do I. And all this journey that he went through was to keep his family safe, as you might not understand what that means. I do. So, those of you that take this for granted and you're able to vote, you don't vote, well, you can't be talking. You can't be getting upset. You can't be commenting on stuff if you did not use your voice. You can't be mad at the trucking industry. You can't be mad at, at politics or whatever's going on because you didn't go use your voice. Now, there's a lot of you that can't vote. I was on that, on that boat for a long time. Maybe one day you'll be able to become a US citizen and you will also be able to be heard with these in your hand. But until then, I voted for you, hopefully. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you who I voted for because I'm not here to sway you to vote any kind of way. Whether right, left, center, it's not my problem. That's totally up to you. Matter of fact, the comments will be turned off. And you don't even have to hit the heart or the like button if you don't want to. That's totally up to you. But if you want your voice to be heard, go do this. If not, stay at home and zip it. Be good, be safe, and as always, God bless. Peace.